Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you like the content, hit the subscribe button, leave a like down below. It's been kind of short on news lately, so that's why you haven't seen me. Plus, I've been working really hard on my wrestling channel. Go check that out at Strizer Tube Wrestling. Shameless plug, I know. <laughs> anyway, so we finally have a little bit of new information, like a teeny tiny little sliver. And that is a first glance at the cool new spider. I don't know if this is the boss or if this is just a character that walks, you know, that you can, you can tame. It looks like it has a bunch of little spiders. I'm terrified of spiders, so that'll be fun for me. Anyway, so let's go through the, the news for today. Let's take a good look at this. This looks really cool, even though I hate spiders. Yeah, it's the normal. Was it Aranimorphous? Like arachnid? But yeah, as you can see, it's got all the little spiders on it. So I'm guessing when it attacks you, it'll send out its legion to, to immobilize you while it comes up and kills you and finishes the job. That'd be really cool if they take the game in that route. And each each like dinosaur or creature has a lot more to it. Because in the other game they all just like they all attack kind of the same. It's just their size was different, right? So I mean there was some that would attack you differently, like the the spitter would make you blind, slow you down. The spider shot out webbing, but for the most part, attacking wise, they all just have like basically a bite or slash attack. That's basically the whole thing. So hopefully they make it way more dynamic. And from the looks of this, at least the concept art anyway, it looks like it'll be just that. So that's really cool. And who knows? Maybe to tame this thing, you'll have to take out all the little spiders and knock it out. Because let's say you knock this thing out, the, the, the mother, and then all the little ones. Uh, finish the job and protect it while it's down, you know what I mean? Or maybe they all come back to it and protect it like a like it has certain AI Or uh, no matter what protect protect the mother Anyway, that, that'd be really cool gameplay mechanic. Who knows what they'll do with it. I'm okay with the next game having like Let's say only 50 dinosaurs or creatures to start if they all act and do things like very uniquely if that makes sense so Let's say we only have, um, like, 20 dinosaurs at the start of the game, right? But they all are, like, full bosses in, like, let's say, a Monster Hunter or or a, uh, what was that other game that just came out? Wild Hearts, I think it is? Something like that. That'd be really cool. And, like, and then you take it down, and you can either kill it and get supplies from it, or you can tame it. And add it to your arsenal. I think that's a really cool way to go about it. Who knows what they're going to do though. And then we got Extinction coming to the Nintendo Switch. I have no idea how they got this to work on there. That map is massive. There are some of you saying, oh I heard it's the smallest the island. Uh, no. There's a huge underground spot. There's a huge, I mean, I, I think I played this map for almost a month before I found where the final boss was. That's how much crap there, and that, that's when I was really into it too. Um, so the draw distance is probably going to be crap. Uh, I'm guessing it's just from the picture alone, the detail is like almost non-existent. So I mean, I guess if, there, if there's a will, there's a way, as long as it runs okay. So let's watch this trailer if it'll load this time. You can tell right away just from the, the, the <laughs> yeah, look at that, they're all, oh. it's like 10 frames per second. Like I said, this map is just, it's just too big to have the detail. Wow. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, the cool drone, I forgot about that. The Titans are so slow, they don't have to worry about frame rate stuff. Oh man, even even the trailer is kind of laggy and like low FPS. This is probably going to be the hardest map for them to, to convert because it's so damn big. <laughs> like there's also the Genesis one. They're getting them out pretty quick though. Did they do Aberration already? I haven't seen a trailer for Aberration yet. Let's go double check on that. It'd be funny if they skipped Aberration and went straight to this one. So Aberration is going to be super dark on the Switch because it's not uh, HDR or 4K. 
So, so yeah, that's gonna be tough. Looks like they added in some uh, new cutscenes for it, if you beat it. That's really cool. Alright, so there's the new Extinction trailer. I just realized that because I have my headphones hooked up, you probably couldn't hear what I was saying. <laughs> but yeah, uh, quick playback for, for what I'm saying here. I'll have it play right here while it's going. Um, right off the bat, you can tell that it just doesn't look that great, but I mean, come on, it's a Switch. I know that's like, oh, it should, it's a cop-out or whatever. Well, I'm just surprised they got it on here. If they got it working to where it won't crash, that's impressive. I want these guys to tackle the next-gen versions because they haven't touched the PS5 version. And the Xbox version, the Xbox Series X version, is probably the best optimized version right now. Supposedly, they're going to remake the first game in Unreal Engine 5. And when that happens, I feel bad for the Switch players, because I have a feeling this is going to be abandoned, like, big time. Everybody's going to be playing the nice, nicer looking one. It'll probably have its install base or whatever, and you can play it on the go, but when it's in Unreal Engine 5 and it looks that much better, who's going to want to play it on the Switch? Plus the Switch, it looks sounds like it's on its way out anyway. But it's cool in the meantime, so there is that. And it does run better than it does on the Steam Deck. And people argue with me, like, well, if you know what you're doing, you can change all the settings and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, but you have to go through and fight with it to get it to where you want it, right? This just works. It might look ugly, but it just works. And that's that's what, what I want. Anyway, so that's pretty cool. And then I think that's about it for this week. And then they got all these... Man, good on the people that make content on this every single day, because... There's like nothing. There's nothing happening with this game. They're all full forced on Arc 2, and there's no there's no word yet on the Unreal Engine 5 version of Arc 1. And there's rumors that the, the PlayStation 5 Pro is coming out next year. They could be waiting for that to come out before they update in Unreal Engine 5 to truly get the next gen upgrade, right? I mean, that'd be kind of cool, but if we're waiting that long just for the remake of the first game, how far off is Arc 2? Anyway, these are just one man's thoughts and my weekly check-in, just to keep make sure the channel's alive, or stays alive, I hope. Thank you so much for helping the channel get to 5,000 plus subscribers. It still blows my mind that it got that high. I never thought in a million years that it would pass 1,000, let alone 5,000. So thank you very much. Uh, please stick around until we get some new Arc news, and I'll do my best to report on it. Thanks for everything, and stay frosty.